Okay, gang. So welcome to the stockpickprofits.com uh, live market update. W I R A. Excuse me. Um, so we're back on Facebook and we're going to do the show streamed live into Facebook and we're going to use our webinar software. So that way we can share screens and things like that. So let's see how this works out. Okay. Uh, and bear with me because it's a first run. <laughs> so let, let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, at the old market, right? Uh, why not? Uh, let's see here. There we go. So we should be on screen sharing here. Now you should be seeing CNBC. Let me make this a little bigger for you here. Uh, there you go. And you can see it was a real soft news cycle today, right? Uh, stocks rise after Trump signals flexibility on the uh, March trade deadline. Really, that's what people are waiting for right now, right? They're waiting for some news on the trade. Uh, what's going on with trade? What's going on? What's going on? Do we have a deal? No deal? Is it a good deal for us? Is it a good deal for China? What's going on? Um, so any little murmur that comes out is affecting the market. Now, the market ran a little bit uh, after that news uh, and then settled back down. Now, you can see the Dow closed about eight points up. Uh, S&P was up about four and the NASDAQ, 14 points. Not much to write home about. Let's go take a look at our charts uh, since we're doing that now. Let's pop on over to trading view. We like trading view. And so you can see we've got an S&P 500 chart here. And, you know, we've plotted out a little channel. It looks like we're full on into that uptrend. Uh, this is really from that beginning of that big sell down, right? That high before the sell down. You can see we got some good, strong momentum on the bottom. Looks like accumulation. So it looks like uh, for right now, the markets are in pretty good shape, but uh, we're kind of at an inflection point. You can see we've got a lot of collusion going back here. Um, we'll see how it shakes out. Now, this trade news is probably going to be all important on it. So we'll see how that shakes out. Like I said, uh, we entered a uh, XRT, which is a little, uh, let me get some of our little drawings off here. We're messing around with cup and handles and stuff. But, you know, we got into XRT a couple of days ago, last week, late last week, um, after that retail report, right? And it's been all systems go, too. We got in right around here. Uh, it looks like it's on a nice uptrend there. If you look at a five-day chart, let's go to a five-day chart here. You can see nice uptrend there from that bottom setting and uh, back over the moving average. Good, good, decent volume. Even when we get big selling pockets, it's not really hurting the stock. So it looks like it's still bullish. You know, people people don't know what to make of that retail number. So we'll see. We'll see. And of course, we're still in Twitter. We're kind of just putting a chart together on Twitter right now. So airs with the Fibonacci on it and all that. From that high before the big sell down, you can see it's just starting a new little uptrend there in the macro stock, macro chart. So what we're looking for is a push back into this gap here. Uh, we're at some $40 calls on that. Uh, we also opened an oil play, right? We told you about that on Friday. Uh, Friday, if you, you, you're taking a look here, you can see that's that's from the highs before the big sell down, blah, blah, blah. Oil, just like a lot of stocks, a lot of good stocks right now, building this new uptrends, breaking off that tail from that little V bottom and stuff. Now, you know, cup and handles are kind of... Uh, uh, subjective, right? Uh, one person's cup is another person's V bottom and things like that. So we, we like the way this stock is developing on the oil. Uh, as far as uh, spot oil goes, we can check that on CNBC here. Let's see how we're looking. Yeah, see spot oil back up over that 56%. Nice. All systems go on that one. Um, and then, of course, we've got our cloud play, which is Cloudera. Uh, this one's kind of breaking off off that uptrend, doing a little sideways motion. But, you know, the momentum's still strong. We still like the chart. We expected a little battle around that 1378 area. Uh, so this one's all systems go to. Now, remember, the way we played this one is we played all the way out to January of next year. So that was interesting. <laughs> so let's see here. Ah, okay. All right. So besides that, I mean, really, the, the whole market environment right now is all about trade. Um, you know, we're past this government shutdown. It, it, there's the battle still on on the legal front, but it's not really affecting the news or anything. I mean, not unless they're going to shut down the government because they can't win a court battle. But 
Uh, other than that, it's just been a nice, quiet news day. So let's kind of take it as for what it is today. Uh, after a long week, yes, last week, you know, a uh, busy week, and then closing off with that four or five hundred point rally on Friday, it makes sense to get a little consolidation today. And you know, a three day weekend, all that stuff kind of plays in it. So, look, gang, let's um. Uh, Let's call it a show. Uh, it was a good day. We'll probably get a little bit better picture, clearer picture as we go forward. Um, the big thing right now is, is Trump backing off on the, uh, the, uh, the tariff race. <laughs> Sorry about that, gang. Okay, gang. So, let, yeah, let's call it a show and let's go ahead and shut it down. And we'll be back on... Let's see. We'll be back tomorrow after the market. Okay. Thank you, gang.